the uh, federal competition, speaking of airlines, the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission, the FCCPC, has issued an interim order prohibiting the sudden hike in the price of airfare by domestic airlines here in Nigeria. In a statement on Wednesday, uh, Babatunde Irukera, executive vice chairman of the FCCPC, said the order would remain in place pending the outcome of its investigation into the matter. Nigerian Airlines had recently increased the cost of uh, economy flight tickets, and you're looking at the statement from the FCCP on your screen there, from about 35,000 naira to a base fare of 50,000. The FCCPC attributed the action of the carriers under the aegis of the airline operators of Nigeria to price fixing, saying detailed investigations by the commission show that the airline's move was coordinated. And joining us from our Abuja studio is Mr. Babatuni Rukaya, the Executive Vice Chairman, CEO of the FCCPC. Good morning, sir. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. So, um, is this collusion? Uh, I mean, your tweets, uh, there's a tweet from you where you, I think you're replying to someone who, who was replying to the FCCPC on Twitter saying, you know, questioning whether or not this was collusion. But your tweet seems to suggest that market forces are at play and you understand that prices will have to go up. But somehow there was some collusion here. So how can you have collusion when market prices are forcing the hand of players in the sector? Good. And that's a very good question. Um, essentially, and, and just to be clear, what the FCCPC uh, has rejected is any platform where competitors come together to exchange commercially sensitive information, discuss price, or even agree one way or the other. Uh, about price. That's that's the crux of this. It's not an analysis of um, what the price itself is or what the margins are, and so w we should keep it clear. Um, to your question about how can collusion occur when the when market forces are in play, collusion actually suspends market forces. That's what it does, and that's why there's an interim order which is really to correct and restore a, a, a free market. And so that order is not to say that. Um, airlines should go back to whatever their fare was. What we're saying is there is credible initial evidence that supports a probable cause to investigate whether collusion occurred. It's going to be evidence-based. and That's a very difficult investigation. Gathering the evidence takes time. And many times you're not even able to come out at the end with some uh, certainty. But there's a sufficient basis to open an investigation. This is a very costly investigation, so you won't proceed unless you have sufficient basis. And so what we're saying is that to the extent that any airline has acted in furtherance of the events, the occurrence, the exchanges, the discussions, or resolutions, or arrangements that occurred at meetings of the AON, that conduct, that response to that should be reversed. Anything else that is based on market forces, for instance, our investigation shows that some airlines rejected this uh, 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 arrangement, but they followed based on the market by increasing prices because others have. And we would slice it. What the investigation does is that it would slice all this into little bits. If we were able to conclude that there was collusion, in that process you will know who did what and when. And so, for those who engaged, if the investigation ultimately determines there was collusion, for those who engaged in that collusion, to the extent that they see this order and obey it, it will be a mitigating factor in what the penalty would be. For those who see the order and ignore it, if it turns out that there was collusion and their conduct is implicated, it will be an aggravating factor in determining where on this penalty spectrum they land. Thank you so much, sir. So the question now is, how do you reverse this decision? I mean, again, I'm going to put your tweet up because I really want everyone to see your tweet now. Admit, you know, understanding that market forces are what they are. Um, so if, if look, so, jet fuel is up by a hundred and something percent. I mean, there's the other try. So how how do, are you saying they should go back to the thirty five thousand naira level base fare for tickets? with where things are. So uh, is that practical? Is that what I, is my next question? No, 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 no. Nothing in that order even speaks to a particular fare. All we're saying is when this investigation is done, if it turns out that there's sufficient evidence of collusion and it identifies those who participated in the collusion, 
all their conduct post the collusion will become factors with respect to a penalty. However, anybody who has acted in furtherance of the collusion. So take for instance, if somebody goes up today and chooses that I'm going to increase my prices on the Lagos Abuja route to 75,000 Naira. That's not, I mean, if they can sustain it, that's, that's a market issue. So that's not a product of collusion. But if two people come together to the other two and say, you know what, we sustained this 50,000, it has become uh, controversial, let's get together. Let's go from 50 to 65. I'll do mine in the morning, you do yours at night. That's another collusion. And the, the, the product of it, the fruit of that tree is, is, is a forbidden fruit. And so what we're saying is, for those of you, whether you were part, whether you agreed with the resolution or not, However, if you have moved your affairs in furtherance of the discussions or the resolution or the debate or argument that occurred at the airline operator's meeting, then the appropriate thing for you is to disown that conduct. If you want to move prices in a more legitimate market-driven manner, the playing field remains open. There's a regulatory process for that that has nothing to do with the FCCPC, comply with the requirements of the NCA and proceed. But anything that was done in furtherance of collusion is implicated and potentially problematic. Mr. Erika, I would love to ask you this question. What's your take on OPEC as a cartel that gets together to um, determine oil prices? Well, what's, what's your take on OPEC's operations? Just, I really, I'm just curious. <laughs> Trick question. It's <laughs> legitimized. Thank you so much. We really appreciate that. I would love to have you back um, to discuss more about uh, these matters. I uh, really appreciate you coming on to clear the air on the FCCPC's position. Uh, Mr. Babatunde Irukera, who, of course, is the uh, Executive Vice Chair, uh, CEO of the Federal Competition and Consumer uh, Protection Commission. Uh, we appreciate his time. <laughs>